Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I've looked at every angle of this foreign banking takeover that's infiltrated our government with special interest. The only way they're going to pull it off is race war division. But we've got to come together against this criminal system. Tosh Plumley's our guest until about 15 after this little short segment, one other. We'll take your phone calls, and it's going to be open phones for everybody. There's also a bunch of other breaking news at Infowars.com that I'll get to in the next segment. Van Rumpy, that's the former head of the EU, unelected EU, will control Europe and flank Russia. Senator to blast TSA. Fast food joints do better employee background checks. Justice Department launches covert sanctions against gun owners. That is such a big article. I mean, this is such a big deal. IMF demands Ukraine risk World War III in return for bailout money. Tosh Plumley's our guest, Computain, if I'm pronouncing it right. We're going to you in Arizona. You're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, Alex. Hey, brother. Hey, uh, I want to uh, focus on methods and tactics that, uh, that Tosh is experiencing. Based on his experience and observations on previous incidents, um, is there anything unusual with the methods and tactics that this racketeering government is using against them? And if he were in full control of the faculties and prepared to respond to an attack, are there major flaws in the tactics that are being used against them? Well, that's, that's a mouthful. I'm not sure how to answer, answer I, the question. There. Tosh, I think what he's asking is, is, you say it's getting worse, but you've been doing this 50-something years. Uh, you know, or, or just a famous you know contractor. How have things changed? And and I mean, I think you're saying we got to have courage, speak okay. up, and say no. All right, here's the thing. The way I say it, okay, it's escalating. Um, okay, I'm just going to go back to Iran Contra. I testified with Kerry. I was I got gagged on that as a, a classified committee since this top secret. Then when I continued out and I wrote an article, well, I did write it. But a friend of mine wrote it. I gave a reader. I run drugs on with Sam. Named all the staging points, the aircraft IDs, the people involved, and everything else for the sole purpose of, to protect myself. I was called in front of the committee. I raised my right hand, and then they sealed uh, committee sensitive. And then uh, when I asked for a transcript, they told me, well, you don't have a classification uh, or a, a security clearance, so therefore you can't see your own testimony. And then if I went out and talked about it, I could possibly be in violation of a national uh, a security statute, and I could receive up to five to ten years in federal penitentiary. All right, the fact that I admitted that I was a cocaine smuggler into this country and taking U.S. weapons out of this country to a secret base in San Arlena was pretty heavy information at that particular time. I was warned at that stop, I had better not do this, I had better not just go on. So I, anyway, there's a whole story behind all that. Okay, Senator Hart wrote a letter to both committees, and it's been posted on my Facebook page, and it's been posted on the Internet. Bill Holden was Senator Gary Hart's security advisor. I contacted him and put all the maps and everything out for the sole purpose to protect me from going to a federal prison because I admitted that I'd flown cocaine, as much as 40 tons of cocaine, into this country on C-130. I admitted that, but it was a sanctioned operation supposed to be interdiction. The interdiction went to uh, El Toro Marine Naval Air Station, and the evidence then was still freighted, and the, and the drugs got out on the street. Also, at the same time, when we come back on those B-130s, we're flying weapons from the 82nd Airborne that went on maneuvers down in Honduras. Those weapons were taken off the GAO books, as being destroyed and lost in airdrops. Those weapons went to an island off Panama, stored there, taken back to El Toro Marine Naval Air Station, and then transferred by truck to China Lake to be retrofitted, and then sent back to a drug runner's base known as Carl Quintero at Sierra Cruz, where he was receiving $10,000 a month of CIA money 
to use his brain in air base as a refueling stop for the uh, formation of the Southern Front. Stay there. It's incredible. We'll do one more segment. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement. A lot of you asked me to come speak in your town or city. I would love to, but I'm so busy here in the trenches at the InfoWars Command Center, I'm just unable to travel. When my friends at Stansbury Research, one of the top analyst firms in the world, invited me to be part of a special one-day event in Dallas, Texas, I could not say no. You will hear from true experts like Porter Stansbury, T. Boone Pickens, Cactus Schroeder, Bill Murphy, Van Simmons, and myself, Alex Jones. I will be speaking on the fact that history is happening now. We are now at a critical juncture where more happens in a month than happened in the previous 10 years. I will also be breaking down the fact that a moral society is the only truly prosperous and safe society. May 31st, it's one day the tickets will sell out. Simply visit alexjonesdallas.com or follow the banners at infowars.com. I have secured a discount for my listeners when you visit alexjonesdallas.com. Again, that's alexjonesdallas.com to secure your tickets for this one-time event, and I'll see you in Dallas. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Well, Tosh Plumley, one of the most famous Iran-Contra, you name it, whistleblowers ever, still flies contracts for the CIA because he's been a congressional testimony that was authorized so they can't stop him from still having his job. He has broken huge... Benghazi information last year that's now been vetted and confirmed by a lot of the information that's been coming out. So he's gotten contact. The Justice Department subpoena is coming. That will basically gag him. It'll say that he's not allowed to talk about it. Once he testifies, they'll then say all of that is secret and he can never talk about it again, like he did with Iran-Contra. But if you just joined us in the last segment, he put all his cards on the table and just started talking about, I personally in flights flew 40 tons of cocaine into the United States, Iran Contra sanctioned by the White House. I flew the guns back out. Well, that's all admitted now, but his testimony was sealed. So I guess in a way, uh, he just broke that gag order. Or has that gag order, that national security order elapsed? Or, or are you just really uh, getting in their face, Tosh? I'm really getting in their face. In other words, I've been told it hasn't elapsed. That's what my attorney told me. I better not go on the air and keep talking about this because I'm going to get myself in a lot of trouble. My feeling is this. I want it out there before the fact. 
In other words, and documented, invented by many different sources, which I have done, and that's the reason I opened up my Facebook page and started compiling all this stuff together to protect me, because I knew if I continued to talk mainly about Iran Contra and the um, uh, the weapons shipments and violations of the Golden Amendment, the setting up of the Southern Front and Point West of the secret air base of San Alina, and C-130 flights going in there and documented in the Grasshopper and all these uh, secret-coded uh, uh, interdiction programs, alleged interdiction programs, uh, I, I figured, man, hey, in answer to the other gentleman's question, how did it escalate? It started escalating at that point. That's the reason I brought up Iran Contra. It started escalating at that point. I began to realize, hey, wait a minute. We have another entity out here. The average eight to five American cannot comprehend that other world that lives out there. The world of pilots, the loaders, the, the fuel refuelers, the secret air bases, uh, Paso Solo in uh, Central America, uh, John Hall's Ranch, who received $10,000 a month in CIA money, uh, Point West, Oliver North, 16 felonies, uh, suddenly paroled and becomes an American hero, and then passes judgment on a pilot like me. In other words, these kind of things upset me. But so, then you're sitting here and you're saying, well, what do I do about it? Do I do like everybody else? Do I sit and piss and moan about it? Or am I going to do something about it? I'm a C-130 pilot now, and I did contact the CIA. Okay, if I piss the CIA off, I don't really care. They pissed me off. In other words, I'm talking way out of school, way out of school, and I know that. But somebody's got to get out here and rattle the American people and get them off the couch and get them engaged. And the way to do it is get them engaged and start studying and reading what the hell is really going on in this country and then get out and use their God-given rights and their talents and make, put a stop to it. That's all I can say about that. Sure. I want to go back to calls. Powerful. I want to go back to calls, sir. But specifically, when you look at all of this, the public has been in denial or they feel powerless, and, and, and the big issue is this is getting worse and worse. The tyranny is expanding, and, and to show how they gave you a thin cover, they told you it was interdiction, that you were getting the cocaine and flying it back here, because I remember reading the Iran-Contra files that were public, uh, to destroy the cocaine. You then learned that that really wasn't going on. Well, some of it was, and some of it wasn't. The special ops that were filtering into the bin raised up the money to get the guns for the Contra. That doesn't mean that that was a complete government sanction operation, but it was run out of the White House, period. In other words, through cutouts and so on like that. I was on uh, CBS about our uh, Forest Service aircraft uh, being used as cutouts to private companies in order to carry the drugs down there. I mean, there is another world out there that the 8 to 5 do not understand that even exists. And all I've been trying to do is say, wait a minute, this matter is escalating. In other words, to answer your, your question, uh, I hope I got it right. So I start seeing this happen. Then I start seeing my buddies going to jail. Then I start seeing some of them committing suicide. Then I start seeing character assassination. And then I had the character assassination applied upon me. In other words, the best way to stop an operation is control the communication. I started watching gatekeepers being infiltrated in the mainstream media to suck up any information that may be derogatory to our ongoing work. No, I understand. And they killed, uh, uh, what do you know about Barry Seal and others being killed? Barry Seal was killed by Colombians that was tipped off by our own government. So basically, I say during the Reagan administration, that information was leaked out to the very people, which it could possibly happen to me, in a way that brought them in. How the hell did they get into this country as illegal? to come out here and gun him down, sitting in his Cadillac when the judge put him in a safe house. Yes, Barry Seal was my friend. I flew the fat lady. I flew it out of Mina. I flew the fat lady in to get a seal. I helped set up the camera to photograph Bond and them in Central America. I'm the shadow warrior that someone has referenced to when, I, when my dossier was classified top secret. I'm a CIA operative, field operative. But I'm one step beyond that. I'm also in the Pentagon with a, a crew known as procuring guard. Now, I've said it. I've told me, you can't say that. You're going to go to jail for saying that. Okay, I'm saying it to you, Alex. I'm saying it right on your program. It's, it's just as solid as I can. I don't know how else to say it. We are involved in an international gun-running operation. Benghazi came up, and I'm not going to have 
our political people turn